had lobster gloves. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I got these a long time ago. Those have been good gloves. Yeah, they're really oh. warm. All right, so we made it safely through uh, the big winter storm yesterday. It just came down and blew and howled. We spent all day inside, had a nice time. Tried to do a live broadcast, apologize that did not work out. Apparently, snowstorms and satellite dishes are a bad combination. Mm -hmm. What else is a bad combination uh, is uh, drones and trees. I was flying the drone around this morning, uh, getting guys some B-roll from the footage, everything was so pretty, all the trees were covered and the sun was coming up. And I was flying my old Phantom and it doesn't have obstacle avoidance to the side. And I flew into this tree behind us here and it's way up there. So Jack and I are gonna attempt to get it down without breaking our necks. I don't know if you're gonna climb up that one, Jack. Ah, uh, yeah. So if I can, let's see if we can find it here in the tree. It's a, like a Where's Waldo there, do you see it? It's also white. It's cool. also white. Yeah, it's the worst. I, every, it seems like every time I crash the Phantom, it's in the, it's in the snow, and I have a hard time finding it. All right, let's go. I think we might need the ladder. All right, you want to heal, heal the, uh, walk it up there about three paces uphill. Okay, you want to heal the ladder, and I'll lift it up. Can you hold it right here for a second? I think I got it here. And the thing is, you know, maybe we should put it on that branch right there. Oh, that's a heavy ladder. It's gonna be precarious, whatever we do. I feel like Clark Griswold right now. still up there out of reach, isn't it? Get a hold of a branch, I feel better. Uh, I could probably survive this fall. Boy, that's really lodged in there. Looks like we lost a prop. <laughs> you know that last step you don't want to make on a ladder? That's this one right here. Wow, that couldn't have better. We lost three props and a battery. Jack, can you find the battery for me? Yeah. It should be right underneath the, where the ladder was. There are the remains of a, a prop. Yep, I think I have some spares. How about the battery? I'm more interested in that. Trumping around up here. Trumping this all up before we look for the bed. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's a bit snowy. It is a bit snowy. That broom falls apart all the time. You can just put them back together. Well, you threw it and you broke the handle, sheared the handle off. So now you get to fix that. So you go in the shop and figure out a way to get that uh, threaded part of the handle out of there. We'll throw a new handle on. Baby D, you look ridiculous. That's too big for you. That's the smallest one we could find. All right, so this is D's very first day sledding. We've got a, a modified homemade homestead sled here. We're gonna try it for the first time. 
with a car seat <laughs> installed. What do you think, baby? Look at her little feet. What do you think? Are you excited? All right, we're gonna get mom out here. Does she need boots on? I, I guess know. these are kind of like boots, aren't they? Yeah. Are you gonna have a good time? Do you need some sunglasses? Need some goggles? Good grief. All right, Jack, give it a try. I think she needs to be held by her mama for a minute. She's a little, Hi. <laughs> little overwhelmed, I think. Hi, what do you think? Should we go for a little snow walk? Is it a little cold? I think maybe we need to get a little blanket over her face. The sleigh is? Yeah. No. Are you ready? Should we get a little blanket for your face? How does it work? What? Why doesn't it have metal runners? Because it has wood ones. It was a lot of blinking, isn't it? Is it's it a lot so of blinking? It's so bright out here. What do you think? Huh? So how did the sweet loaf like her sleigh? I think she liked it as long as it was moving. When it stopped, she was not a fan. But once it was moving, she liked that. She likes the motion, you know? She's <laughs> that's pretty well, pretty normal for any I baby. She's probably warm enough. Well, yeah. I can't even see you, sweet pea. She's in there. I can't even see you. She's in there. Let me see. I don't believe it. Are you in there? She is. She is. So, ha, huh, I thought I'd go in and make breakfast. Do you guys have any... Uh, Requests? Uh, I'd like some a broccoli omelet. You have a secondary request? <laughs> um, how about Can some... we vote on that? Better... Jack, broccoli oh. omelet or pancakes? Broccoli omelet. <laughs> so that's one vote. Let's see, I'm still undecided. Let me have to think on that one. How about uh, fettuccine alfredo with chicken? No, yeah. it's, I, think it's, I think it's too early for that. No. no, we've been up a long time. Have we? Yeah. What time is it? It's 11. I've been up since five. Well, how about I make something and you guys just are surprised and eat it? How about that? <laughs> Sounds like eggs and toast to me. <laughs> we can't watch Papa cook, so we're going to have to go into another room. That's fine. I've got enough to do, and so do you. You know what that also means is that if I cook, then you have to do the dishes. Yeah, I do. So, same old, same old. Same old, same old. Okay, well, I'll make something that's delicious. It is just beautiful today. So how did you survive the, the winter storm, the massive storm we had yesterday? I loved it. I love snow though. It was really windy though. I did have to go, when I went running, I had to wear goggles because it was just in my eyes the whole time. I survived it by trying to live, help off with the 
Oh, our live stream. Yeah, the was live a, stream was, was kind a total of a bummer. Fail. But... So I apologize for that. Yeah, sorry. Everybody. So the funny thing is, yesterday is Sundays are kind of nice to have a take kind of a take it easy day. Yeah. And Mrs. W, you had all these plans. I had seven million. And you projects. were just getting ready to get started, and you had like your game face on, and I put my arms around her and said, "You know what, honey? <laughs> Let's just sit by the fire today, play some games, and just enjoy the winter." And that's what we did. That's true, but then today I'm a little bit stressed because I have so much to do. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'll get to start on breakfast and um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to work. Sounds great. Hey, baby, we have a pest problem. <laughs> do we have a, a hungry caterpillar? We have a hungry caterpillar. <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know how she feels about it. <laughs> Sweet loaf, what is <laughs> Lucy? What has she done to you? <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't know where you got that, but that's the best thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. I fully understand that I'm biased, but I have to say that that is about the cutest thing I have ever seen. All right, so now remember, if you guys enjoy these family vlogs, please click the thumbs up. They don't do very well on the platform. I kind of make them for the faithful, the Wranglist are faithful, and uh, we count on you guys to support us by commenting and thumbs upping. I know it's, I, I always forget as well, but for all you guys doing that, just for, just for that, I have a very special treat for you. It's time for a Manly Manners. Manly Manners, if you're just joining us, is this charming little book that was written in 1913 called Don'ts for Husbands. And it is very good, I guess, relationship advice um, for those of us who'd like to have a happy home. And who among us would not like to have a happy home? So, as is my custom, I will, the power of radio, I will flip open random page, page 10, and start reading. Don't hesitate to mention the fact when you think your wife looks especially nice. Your thinking so can give her no pleasure unless you tell her your thoughts. I'd have to say Manly Manners is right on point with that one. And, you know, us as men and women, we're, we're so different. I think as men, we can go along. And if our wives don't compliment us in, in a maybe a traditional way like that, it's really no skin off our back. It's uh, We're just wired different. Women, on the other hand, um, they, they crave that. It's important to them. Um, and they need it. That, and you'll see it. You know, you see, how do I say this? Back before, uh, back before Christ changed my heart, I, w I was a very judgmental person. I still am. It's just something, something that I have to work on, but, but he's certainly given me victory over it. But I was extremely judgmental. And I remember looking at, at women and girls, especially maybe that I had thought, according to me, you know, according to my standards, whatever that was worth, had overdone it. Too much makeup. Um, wrong clothing, uh, trying too hard, you know, too, just, just too much, you know, and things come to mind like, oh, you know, what is that strumpet doing? And, 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 you know, who does she think she is and, and all, all of this. And, you know, I've come to look at that so different. And when I do see women and I do see, um, or, or younger girls, younger women, uh, dressing like that or trying like that, I, I no longer think that because I have an understanding that God put in women um, a desire to be to be beautiful and to be attractive. And that's, you know, I mean, there's, of course, ulterior motives with some women, but I, but I think, by and large, when, it, when you get right down to the root of it, that's what it's all about. And and some women don't know how to go about it as well as, as other women, and, and it could easily be mistaken for something perhaps that it is not. But I think that before we condemn and before we judge, um, Let's go back to the very root of it. What, what is she trying to do? Well, she's just trying to do what, what is natural to her. She wants to be desired. She wants to be a, attractive. Uh, she wants to be loved and, and she wants to be admired. And, you know, uh, uh, those of us who have that need inside of us or uh, those particular needs that, we're, that we're, we were created with will go to almost any length to have that. And I think the more you, if you are a single person and the more you're, are, are you know, maybe you don't have a lot of friends and uh, the, I guess the less you have of that in your life the more you desire it and the more you try for it so um, I, I have no idea what this means I'm going off on a tangent here but I, th I think the point is is that to don't overlook those opportunities and and when your wife um, has spent a lot of time picking out an outfit 
um, or a lot of time doing her makeup or her hair, um, um, just remember that she's doing it for you. And she probably had you in mind when she was doing it. And to, to give a little bit of notification and, or notice it, or a little bit of um, affirmation um, that she was willing to go through all of this for you, I think is a, it's a pretty small, small thing to ask.